warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, hello guys, my name is Gendi Sitor Haryo. I'm majoring in Information System Diploma from class uh, 4302. And my name uh, is six seven zero one one nine four zero nine one. I'm from Telkom University. Here I will uh, present about the application of employee data management system regional legislative council secretariat in Tulungagung. Next. Uh, what is application of employee data management system? Uh, employee data employee data management system uh, is an application that function to manage data staffing. Uh, this research is uh, inter this the research is intended to build a staffing system application that can handle large amounts of complex staffing data. Uh, the result application can be used the the research application can be used to manage personal data namely personal administration data for all employees uh, controlling promotion of employees controlling regular salary increases and controlling transfer transfer pension uh, the method used to build the application is the waterfall method with Waterfall method uh, with conductor framework, unified modeling language, uh, design tools, and testing the application uh, of black box testing and user acceptance test. Uh, based on the final project research, it is uh, expected that later employees data can be integrated and produce information system uh, that uh, that facilitates work and can overcome the problem that exists in the processing of employees data and accelerate the search for information needed what is a purpose in progress this final project uh, purpose this uh, final project is number one storing surfing data computerized and structured because previously the data stored was still manual and unstructured Number two, uh, facilitating employees to collect file of the requirement for submitting and increase rank and salary periodically by uploading by online, so uh, that it can make it easier for employees to increase in rank and salary regularly. And number three, facilitating the internal staffing, making a submission the letter with the typing asset data and fit letter templates, so that it can make. It is for employees in waiting later without having to type. And number four, uh, facilitating staffing for staffing grade and print a short list rank or TUK with format uh, corresponding. Uh, next, limitation problem in making this application. Number one, this application. Uh, is only used inside internal district or DPRD Secretariat Tulungagung. And number three, uh, this application manages the data of civil several civilians or PNS at the DPRD Secretariat Tulungagung Regency. And number three, submission of promotion and salary practically just to get uh, cover letter calls uh, to do the process promotion and regular salary. And number four, Uh, this application only uh, display the scheduled employees pension excluding managing employees pension file next uh, working method in designing and developing application personal data management system on the Tulungagung Regency or DPR discarded using the software development life method cycle uh, or SDLC with a waterfall model Next, uh, what is waterfall method? According to Pressman, waterfall method is a classic model systematic sequential in building software. The name uh, of this model is actually the linear sequential model, uh, referred to as well with the classic life cycle. Uh, this method uh, describes a uh, fairly systematic and uh, Sequential approach to software development starting from uh, one 
user requirement to specification key planning for modeling five construction and six submission of the system to user and last as well as system maintenance next stack of stack of waterfall method number one uh, requirement requirement is that the developer must know all the information about the software needs such as the internet use the software by the user and software limitation uh, this information is usually obtained from interviews and surveys or discussion and number two design design is done before the coding process began it aims to provide a complete pictures of what to do and how the desired system look like look like uh, so that it helps specify hardware and system requirement as well as defines the system architecture to be met as a whole and next uh, implementation the code writing process is uh, at this stage the software development will be broken down into small modules uh, which uh, will be combined in a later stage and this stage uh, there will also be a deeper explanation of modules that have been made whether they have full file the desired function or not and next integration and testing all these takes uh, previously made modules will be merged after that uh, testing will be kept of testing will be kept which aims to find out uh, whether the software is in accordance with the site design and whether uh, there are still errors or not and next uh, operation and maintenance operation and maintenance is the last stage of the waterfall development method here i here the here the finished software will be run or operate by the user besides the maintenance is also carried out which includes and number one uh, error correction improve implementation of the system unit improve system sys improve system service according uh, to new needs next a literature review tulungagung BPR di sekretariat government employees promotion prediksi salary rank of the list use case diagram and business process modeling notation next design analysis nah uh, analysis of the weakness of the current system and purpose uh, purpose improvement case diagram definition of actor uh, any relationship or ERD relationship a scheme between tables next a conclusion so that function if application is uh, number one this application can store personal data computers and structure number two this application can facilitate employees to collect a file or data by uploading by online number three uh, this application can facilitates the patient's staffing in making application better without uh, retyping data and matching templates later. Number four, this application can facilitate and the patient uh, staffing to be able to print employees data and employees data reports. And number five, uh, this application can facilitate staffing uh, staff to create and print a shortlist rank or TUK with the appropriate format. So uh, that is uh, for my presentation. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.